welcome guys to my channel so guys in this video we are going to learn how we manage SharePoint as a site collection admin for the owner there will be few videos and uh, you will get lot of knowledge which will actually help you to manage your SharePoint environment. Yes, if you are interested to learn SharePoint, so let me know in the comment box. I will definitely try my best to solve your, uh, resolve your issues. And uh, if you uh, if you want any kind of uh, a specific video for any SharePoint topic. I will definitely try my best to uh, record that as soon as possible and post it. So guys, in this uh, video, first of all, we will learn how we actually manage our company total structure. So, how we create our structure company portal and first thing that we will do is we will learn how we create new main department site and then child site so going back to my lab here you can see <coughs> i am the i have logged on as sharepoint admin, admin or sharepoint as site collection admin so this user is uh, administrator or the site collection administrator for managing this site. So now if we go here setting and you can see that we have the different options here. For example you see this site content you can you can click here also so if you click on the site content and scroll down at the bottom you see this, there is sub site so guys we we have two different way or multiple way to create a subsite you can one of the way or method to use is the managed content and a structure feature from the site settings area another way is you just click, you just access the uh, or, or click on the site content page <coughs> within your site collection and from there you can create your sub sites now remember that When you create subsite, click on new subsite. Now, I'm just going to assign a name for this one, this subsite. So I say department. Departments. And here in the URL, I say dipped. So I remember, guys, when you create a site collection or sub site, you need to select your template. So, template. It can be 
project site, business intelligence site, or a team site, or communi uh, community site. So there are different type of sites available. Based on the version of the SharePoint you have purchased. So you can go for the SharePoint standard, enterprise, SharePoint online. Will actually determine the template availability. So different SharePoint edition or the versions have different template or offer you different template. And these templates come pre-built with certain features enabled, applications configured and page, pages created. Now, I say, I am going to select my uh, template type that I want to actually use. So, as you can see that I have collaboration and I have enterprise. So, I just selected, I have selected team site and here you can see the permission, user permission. So, in the user permission, I am accepting the default as user same permission as the parent site. Use the same permission as the parent site. And now, if you scroll down, use top link bar from the parent site. By default it is no, so say yes. And now click on the create. So this will actually create our one subsite. As you can see here, department. So now, now we are going to see how we manage or create our tile department site. In this side, in this so you can see that I have created department. So if I click on department, so you can see that there is site content or if I click on the setting, I have the site content. Now, if I click on the site content, you see this, there is new site, new subsites. So, I am, I click on this and here I say, human resources and here I say and I am going with the default template team site now permissions use the same permission as the parent site and then Use top link 
use the top link bar from the parent side. So I turn it into yes because previously it was no and now I select yes and now I just click on the create and this time it is going to create my site human resource site. So you can see this human resource site. Now guys, we are going to see how we create new application for your document and the list. So, So you can see that I am in human resource side and if I click on the setting here I have add a add an app. Now I say contact. So it is asking for a name. So I say contacts. So I click on create. So now you see this we are in contact application. Now, here you see this, we have different items. So, if I click on the new item, So you can see there are different options. So now I see last name. So depending on your list you will add so I say rock name rocky so this is last name Rocky No, I say Email So Rocky at I say
Drop title. I say now I save this option. I say I'm going to create another so I say hmm, Jack no Newlec.com. CEO. Save. Clock. Drop title. I say. Now I'm going to create another contact. So I say mm, And uh, job title, I say, and I said, so now we just saw how we create our contact. Now, if I want to go back, just I will click on the, so you can see, SharePoint, we are back.
No guys, we are going to see. How we modify column on an existing list. So that you can quickly perform your task. You add your content. So let's see, I am here on the contact, so if I click on the list, so I have list setting. Now. You can see that there are different options like we have column and you can see under the column all the predefined column which was actually created as part of the list template. this these are the part of the list template now if you click on any of this column now you have the option to modify or even if you want you can simply delete you can simply delete you see this company is not there so if you want to modify your existing list template you can simply do that one So you just need to click on the click on the column and you can simply delete those. Now remember that when you delete Follow from SharePoint list or even libraries. It removes from or it removes them from this instance of the list or the library. Or if and if you want to use or add this column again you can do that which we will see in next next step or part so we are done 
No? I am again going back to human resource. I say contact. Now, list setting and if you scroll down look at this add from existing site column so click on it Now, you can see that select site column from, so here I have four contact and the calendar column. Now, you can see that available site column. Now, here you have different list I select add I select department and say add Now, I say OK. And you can see department. Now, you see this, there is another option called column ordering. Column ordering actually help you to organize your columns in sequence order. For example, which column you want first? Is it the last name, first name, department, company? So in which order you want your columns? So that you can that you can arrange from column ordering. So if you go here, you can see that last name is first. So, we need to change this. For example, I want first name. First name, last name, and full name, email address, department. Let us change the department as seven. Now, I 
I say okay. Going back, click on contact and I have new item. See this first name, last name, full name, email address, department. We have. So I don't want to create anything, just I saw, uh, show you this thing. Cancel. Now guys, we just saw how we create our list or organize our columns. Now guys, we are going to see how we actually work with view. So in SharePoint, we have different type of view. So if I click on my contact and if I go to the list, you see that we have create view. So you can see that we have manage view. So under the manage view, we have create view. So in SharePoint, we have different type of view. So depending on the requirement, you will actually go with. So You can see this, we have a start from an existing view. So if you want, you have choose a view type. You have the standard view, calendar view, data sheet view, get Gantt view or custom view. So if you go with this one, existing view. So I say now here I am going to type the name like HR HR contacts and make this default view. Now you see this, we have different columns. So I don't want attachment. I don't want to include phone number, home phone number. And department, I want at the fourth position. Now, you can also define your style. You can sort. So, if you want, 
you see this we have a style now if i click on style you see this there are different styles available so i select one of the style and i just simply click on okay now see department is before business num phone number it is a new order change so guys this is how you can actually manage your view